going on everybody welcome back to the channel today i got a little project here in front of me going on sorry for the poor lighting again as well i'm in my shed which is so far going to be for now the main body shop workout workshop area for the rc stuff and other air things i might be working on um today i got i want to do Figured I'd do, and it's been a while since I recorded it or did, posted a video, so to the channel, I figured today I'd try to do a little something. Um, this is my TRX4 Sport Body. Not a Fort, I'm sorry, the TRX4, regular TRX4 with the two speed and the, the um, locking, unlocking discs and whatnot that I have. Now, this RC. Um, this body's got over, the, is an older body, I've had it for a while, so it's got pretty much beat it up over time, and it's, uh, it's too far, it's a little too be or beat up for me to really go crazy scaling it again, and making it pretty again, so nice looking and whatnot. So, let me grab the camera quick, and I'll show you what I got going on. As you can see here, we have the, I believe it's pronounced Endura, uh, hard body Jeep Cherokee, and in time, rolling it over, you know, when rolling it over on the trails and whatnot, it's gotten its fair shirts, beat up scuffs and everything, and scratches, blown out these two windows, so... It never had a front windshield. It was a really beat up body when I got it. I went crazy sanding it, doing body work to it, to clean it up and whatnot. Um, I'm missing a tail light because what bro it broke and fell off on the trails. I had it somewhere, but I can't find it now, so I'm just gonna leave it off. Add to the um to the to the scale beat upness or whatever, which I'm gonna try and make. Um, this was a custom blue that I did on this vehicle a while back. Um, what I'm going to do today, as you can see, I kind of started taping it up. I scanned it, as, and this piece here was broken off, which I kind of, I got a little more body work and stuff to do, and but I'm, for now, I'm going to leave it so it looks like it's all kind of rusty and whatnot or whatever with the holes but i'm gonna have to get some rust colored paint and kind of mess with that but um i'm gonna pretty much just leave a lot of the stuff beat up chipped and scratch just to give to the keep the whole beat up look to it even with this fender which what i'm doing with the fender is going to be a painting it a different color but not clearing it. This way, it still it sort of look will look dull, and what that will do as well is it'll make it with a paint different color fender. It'll make it look like it's an old beat up tr Jeep with like a couple different color panels, dense beat upness or whatever. But anyway, that's that's sort of the plan. So I'm going to attempt to try this and see how well it goes. I've never really done any patina work like this on RC cars or even model cars for that matter so I figured I'd give it a try and see how it goes so I'll set this camera back up and uh, I'll finish taping this fender off and I'm going to be spraying it with the dupli color perfect match color it's a Ford color which is Ignat Silver, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, but uh, that's the color code. Um, I could give it a shot and see what it looks like, you know. But, um, yeah, let's get started. Now I'm going to just tape off along the body lines as they go where they go. So it kind of fall out, fall, flows with everything and it makes the new color that I'm going to put on stage specifically in that one panel. This way it actually looks like it's 
somebody bolted on a uh, different color fender altogether. And if it works 100% well, like I'm hoping, that should be what it, that should be uh, what how it looks when it comes out. If it's done 100% right. So, wish me luck. Let's see what this looks like. I wish I had more paper or something to cover a lot of this other body, rest of the body with, but I don't. So I'm going to have to tip a lot of tape down and kind of just be very careful with my overspray. Not that I really matter too much, but like I said, it is a beater body, but I do want to kind of give it, keep it looking like it actually is meant that way and not just someone didn't care really much about how detailed the looks came out. Because you could easily just spray it and then whatever and have it all the overspray go wherever and not here and just make it look like whatever but then it will show that that's the case but if you really want the detail work to pop on how you're making the patina and how you're making the patina look then you really got to care about what you do when it comes to the paintwork and whatnot you want it to really look the way you want it to look you don't want it to come out like okay the fender looks good but we all this dusted over spray on the rest of the vehicle it's going to look like you didn't really didn't care. I and mean, that's fine if you that's why you really want it to look. But I still want it to look like shit. Like it's just a beater piece of junk. But I want it to intentionally look like, look like that. Like it was how it, it was going through the woods. And it got beat up that way. And it wasn't just something that, you know, was just randomly spray painted like that, you know. So, I'm going to tape up a little bit more, a few more rest of this area is here. And then I'm going to try and start spraying. Alright, here we go. And that's how the fender looks. So, that being said, I'm gonna grab my paint, start shaking it, and we're gonna see what this looks like. All right, we got it all taped, and paint is shaking. So let's give this a little try here. Let's see how we look here. Oh, it comes out hopefully okay good this can kind of spray is good um there it is and let's right keep my can relatively i would say six by four to i would say five to six inches away from the panel as i'm spraying and just go light first coat go light Just like that, so you kind of can see the whole how it looks. I'll let that dry, and then I'll uh, put on the next coat. The first coat should be good and dry enough for now. We're going to start on our second coat. Remember, roughly six, five, six inches or so away from the panel. And just even passes back and forth. You don't have to put it on heavy. Just got to load it on enough to cover, little by little. 
because if you put this on your paint on too heavy all at once to try and cover everything at once that's when you get runs or blotchiness especially with a silver color silvers silver colors like to get blotchy really really easily it's very easy to blotchy them up but so far I'll put you out in the sunlight here so you can see again that's coming out pretty good so I think one more coat will do it and then we'll let it dry again and then we'll untape it and see what it looks like so for now we're gonna let this coat dry a little bit more all right I think it's time for our last coat. Alright. That should do it. So what we'll do now... Let this dry again. Then after it's dry, we'll then untape it and see what it looks like. Well, let's give it a shot. She's probably not 100% dry, but dry enough to where we can attempt to untape it very carefully. This is where we got to be careful as we get closer to the panel that still has the wet paint. Because that's where we can, if it's still wet, nine times out of ten, there's you're, you're a good chance you can even peel the wet paint right off. Which we didn't. And that's what we got what we're left with here. That's the finished product. I think it looks pretty good for now. I think what I'll have to do is I'm going to have to add more mismatch coloring. Maybe get a different mirror for this side because this side has a factory Jeep mirror. Maybe I'll get like the Bronco Traxxas TRX4 Bronco mirror for this side or something like that. Just to kind of mismatch, make it look more beaterish. Um piece of tape off of here and then also what I'll do is this too much regular blue on this side maybe I'll paint one of these doors a different color like a red or something to kind of throw it off some more and I'll add some random primer spots like either on the tailgate or on the quarter panel here just to give it a little more beat up look a little more primer you know with the primer and whatnot and uh, I think that should be it. But overall, I think that came out pretty damn good. Like I said, there will be more to come. I'm definitely going to have to do more to kind of give it that beater look still. Um, I don't know yet. And again, down the road, I plan to probably within the next month or two, I plan to purchase 
a regular TRX4. This is the TR, I mean a Sport. This is the regular TRX4 with the two wheel wells, two speed, locking on locking diffs. This one is going to be the scaled up shove queen. So the TRX4, since the TRX, I mean a Sport, since I don't, the, the TRX4 Sport, I'm sorry, from factory doesn't come with factory wheel wells and it comes with already only locked differentials only in a one speed transmission that's more perfect for this because i do plan on trimming the wheel wells as well because the fact i recently took off these these are the factory fender flares that came with the endura body and those I'm going to keep off. I'll sit them for maybe another body or something. But I might open up the track the wheel wells like all the Cherokee guys do when they go take theirs off road or build theirs for off road. Since the sport model TRX4 doesn't have um factory wheel wells it's perfect i could open it put a little bit bigger of a tire on there because right now the factory 1.9s of the, these factory tractors trail canyons that i'll be using so far on it they do rub against the wheel well and turning and these are four and a half inches tall i do eventually plan to get a custom beadlock set of wheels 2.2 and a nice set of uh, RC four-wheel drive mud slingers in 2.2, the regular 2.2. The regular 2.2 RC four-wheel drive mud slingers are five inches tall, which are a little bit bigger than these, which will be perfect for what I need. They also have the RC four-wheel drive 2.2 XL, which is even bigger. The only difference between, obviously, the 2.2... And the 2.2 XL is a half an inch of tire. If you really want that extra bigger, taller tire, go for the XL, get the five and a half inch tall. But being that I still want to keep this fairly center of gravity, which is why I want to use it on the sport chassis, so I could, because it has no wheel wells, I plan to chop the body up a little more, the wheel well openings, like the Cherokee guys do in real life, to fit the bigger tires. And the body is going to go lower, the body posts are going to go lower, giving this a little bit lower of a center of gravity. And the shocks themselves are going to be adjusted all the way to the top so that I get full, you know, down on the uh, springs and shocks and whatnot. So it sits as a low center of gravity as possible then on top of that the body posts are going to go lower this way when i put the little bit taller of a tire it'll accommodate for a little more ground clearance with the portal axles but also give me a lower center of gravity with the adjusted low springs and the body post being down and the fenders will be trimmed a little bit more so it'll be basically like a real life off-road dedicated Cherokee which is set up that way which most people think when you're going off-roading you want to go big lift big tires which that throws off your center of gravity yes it clears but if you're not if you got to beat our vehicle and it's not the perfect most perfect vehicle out there and you really don't mind chopping it a little you can sacrifice clearance room by cutting the wheel wells more, which is what most people do, to keep the, their, their real rigs, their one-to-ones, more better performing out on the trails. So instead of going a 6-inch lift and 33s or 35s, they'll go a 3-inch lift or 4-inch lift, cut the wheel wells open wider, and put the 30, same 33s or 35s, so this way they're not up as high and more prone to tip over and whatnot but anyway that's besides the point this is this is pretty but i want to explain that to explain this because that's my plans for this rig once i can get a trx4 sport chassis by traxxas i will be 
keeping this my dedicated actual crawler, crawler, performance crawler, woods beater, and like serious dedicated rig. But um, yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, if you like this video, this is the contents, like, comment, subscribe, what you know, keep in touch, and so you can keep in touch on all the, keep in contact, or notified on all the videos coming up, and, uh, that's pretty much that, I'll talk to y'all later, peace out.